uh, to see how a collection like uh, array list operates um, it is useful to draw a class diagram uh, for example for a music organizer uh, with two files so um, there will be this um, instance And the field um, called files. And when a third object is added, it will look like this. So from this, uh, it can uh, at least uh, three um, important facts can be noted. Uh, the uh, room for a new um, for new elements is. Uh, added uh, as it is needed uh, then uh, the uh, array list uh, keeps uh, its own private count of how many elements uh, are in the collection In another thing, so uh, th this 
uh, count of how many object, uh, objects are in the collections uh, in the collection they uh, are th that is stored uh, in the array list and it can be the size method returns this number and then there was not uh, important fact I don't remember exactly okay um, this uh, uh, shows that uh, the organizer is pretty simple and uh, the array list does does all the difficult work uh, and uh, has the functionality uh, to um, add ah yeah another important thing is that um, the uh, elements um, are uh, in or in, have an order and uh, when an element is added it is added to the end of the list of the of the collection so um, the array list has the functionality it provides the functionality uh, to um, um, make a table for the organizer to have its own functionality um, but uh, we don't know the details of how these functionalities uh, are provided how um, is it possible for to have a list to have this functionality but uh, abstraction makes it able uh, to uh, not care about uh, the functionality of a library class uh, because uh, at, uh, uh, our own class uh, just has to uh, ask the library class uh, for a specific functionality and it will obtain it uh, without knowing anything about the internal uh, working of the library class um, another thing to note is that the get number of files um, is uh, implemented in the organizer to call the uh, size method of the uh, array list and um, in this way um, even though uh, the uh, organizer can uh, implement a functionality by, uh, by which it can give the number of files uh, that uh, the fields file stores without uh, using the library class uh, it is um, useful that um, uh, also uh, this method uh, and, and the functionality of this method is uh, totally um, delegated to the library class. Uh, in this way, the organizer, uh, whenever uh, it is asked uh, for the number of files, uh, it um, just asks uh, the library class uh, to uh, return the size 
met, uh, to, uh, to execute the, the um, size method and uh, return the desired value uh, and then the uh, and then the organizer has already the answer that it can give. Uh, and this uh, avoids duplication of information, uh, which um, uh, uh, for which uh, it is important to work hard to avoid, uh, because duplication uh, can um, bring to um, uh, making a lot of uh, unnecessary effort and it can lead to um, inconsistencies uh, we, in which uh, something that should have uh, an identical uh, functionality um, actually uh, it doesn't have the identical functionality and this gives an error.